is a mind-blowing concept for me. I know a lot of other women out there. Instead of being proud of everything that you do, what about owning and embracing what you don't do? Sort of a different concept up there. And a therapist, Julie Hanks, owner and director of Wasatch Family Therapist, has a great way to simplify your day by mastering the art of leaving things undone, just not doing them. Yes. It's a great skill to develop. Permission granted? Oh. Permission granted. Because it's actually an art. It's an art. Yeah. Here's the deal. I don't know if my boss is in here, but I would rather be late to work than leave my bed unmade. That's true. Is that what we we're talking about? Yeah, but we okay. need to talk after the segment Well, about there's that. that. No, no. Yeah, really. <laughs> How, would you honestly do that? You, yes, you can't are, leave? Are like, you like that? There are little things I think that every woman gets hung up on in their day mm -hmm. that they cannot leave mm -hmm. undone. They've my got wife, to get them done. My wife can't go to bed until the floor has been swept. See? Yeah, see, everybody has their thing, but today, I'm here to give you permission to leave some things undone. It's okay. You have a famous quote that you like from somebody, Lynn? Uh, yes, I love this quote. Um, it is, be besides the noble art of getting things done, there is a nobler art of leaving things undone. Well said. Yes. See, how is that a noble art? Is it just being able to, to deal to with pick it? And to pick and choose, because you can't do everything, so there will always be something undone. But the point is to be conscious about it and not to beat yourself up for the undone things. And, and be aware that, you know, maybe you, you're living by self-imposed rules. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and to inspire us all, you're doing a little self-expose here for us. I am. I am. <laughs> I recently uh, wrote a blog on my website, juliehanks.com, called Confessions of a Multitasking Mama. Because people go, how do you do this? How do you have four kids, have a business, therapy, songwriting? Mm -hmm. And so I confessed about the things I leave undone. And uh, here are a few of them. <laughs> um, the first one is my kids think that breakfast equals cold cereal. <laughs> that is it. I am not a morning person, and so if they get cold cereal, I feel really good. So, oh, they're so cute. They That's, are cute. They're having their breakfast <laughs> morning. Love equals it. cold cereal. Okay. Okay, so I'd leave no warm breakfast in the morning for my family. No. Sorry. Warm breakfast consists of a pop tart if they know how to operate <laughs> the toaster. Tart, yes. you know? okay. Piece of toast. <laughs> Untoasted. You You're done. All right. Um, oh, this this is quite embarrassing here, you guys. This is a flower pot in the front of my house. This oh, is no. not in the back. <laughs> this is last year's dead flowers that I haven't gotten around to uh, planting anything in. That is undone. That pot in the front of my house. It's okay. Some of us planted it and it still looks like that. Still <laughs> so, no big. Just a hint, you can move the pot to the back, you know, just in case I, you're. Interested. I didn't even realize it was on. It was just like, <laughs> okay, yeah, good. whatever, you know. Okay, and this is a picture of my office. I am a piler, and I have 50 projects going on at the same time, and that's it's just all laid out there in piles. I actually know where things are, but I'm I, I'm really unorganized when it comes to my home. That I just learned. I can't. I can't do everything. That's something I don't care that much about. But what I love is that you've identified the things that you want to leave undone because you want to spend more time on the things that are important. Right. To you. And sometimes we're not conscious of that. We're choosing. We're always choosing. When we do something, we're choosing to not do an infinite number of other things and that that's okay. So really the, the first lesson to learn is one of acceptance. Just accepting who you are and right. what you can and cannot We do. have limitations. We, you know, there's only 24 hours in a day. There are some things that w most things we will leave undone. Because I'm here, I'm not with my kids right now because I'm on Studio 5. I'm not seeing clients right now. I'm not writing a song. I'm not, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So those are things I could be doing. But so often women feel guilty for the things they're not doing. In fact, I've surveyed thousands of women, and most of them feel guilty for the things they're not doing. Oh, we yeah. gotta get over that. Yeah, yeah. come yeah. on, because there's always there are always more things that we're not doing. Instead of being able to fo focus on really their accomplishments, they yeah. focus on on what they have. I, I haven't done do. this. I haven't done this. Instead of wow, look at look at what who I am yeah. or what I have done. Mm -hmm. They have a hard time accepting those limitations, saying right. everybody we only have a set number of hours, as you mentioned. Yeah. So do what you can and leave everything else. Let it go. Right. Right. It's really really hard to do. In addition to giving us permission uh, to leave things undone, you're also giving us permission to break our own rules, those self-imposed yes. rules okay. that we're talking about, like making the bed. You're making the bed. Yes. So. So break that rule, Brooke. Get to work on time or early <laughs> and leave your bed unmade and see what happens. It's really fun to play around with this because a lot of our stress as women is actually self-imposed. Um, not all of it because husbands, kids, neighbors, friends, extended family have expectations. Mm -hmm. But a lot of the stress of, oh, I'm not good enough, I'm not doing enough is really ourselves and rules that we've created that we can 
break. I just have to ask, what time did you get to work this morning? Because you were here like really, really early this morning. I was on time this morning. Yeah, like like four or five o'clock uh, this morning? Yeah, like four thirty. And is, and is your bed made at home? Yes, it is. Okay. See, I am amazed. How do you do that? <laughs> it's true. Okay. okay. Next, okay. Not Wait, tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow I'm breaking the rule. Can I? Good. You. you have permission. I'm going to break the rule and make my bed tomorrow <laughs> before I go to work. Good. Good, Julie. Because I'm places. like, well, make your bed, you're just going to mess it up anyway. <laughs> Good. Okay. The next thing you say is to choose people over tasks. Yes. So often we get uh, onto this checklist of things we have to do and our relationships suffer. So if you're faced with a choice over spending time with a person or, and, or accomplishing a task, choose people. Choose the relationships. A great question is, um, will this be mentioned at my funeral? <laughs> No one says, oh, yes, our kitchen counter was clean every night. And they she say, made her bed every morning before work. She made her slept. bed before work, right? It gives you perspective. But, you're, yeah. you know, your family will say, oh, we had so much fun. My mom used to come out and jump on the trampoline with us. Or, my, you know, my, your spouse would say, oh, you know, she used to um, spend so much time talking in the morning with me. And so so mm -hmm. we, it's so easy to focus on the task. But people in the end are what matters. And those relationships are so that's where life is yeah. and we get it's easy to get caught up in that's the tasks. where the ritual happiness mm -hmm. really lies and when mm -hmm. we talk about kind of ditching guilt as we've discussed a couple of times before on the yeah. show it always comes down to kind of one anecdote one word and that's priorities yes and when you put it in, into that kind of a perspective I think everyone automatically can jump on board yeah so ask yourself what what is my life about what are the most important things and choose those first um, decide what your priorities are so sometimes I choose, oh, I'm going to go for a walk around the block, <clears throat> excuse me, instead of wiping off the counters. Because that's more important when I, when I look at what are my priorities. Mm -hmm. Clean house is not as important as my three-year-old. And the flower pots, not as important. Uh, yeah, it's really not. I can, I'll have, you know, 60 on up to be a really great gardener, but right now. <laughs> and when you let those things slide, and the flower pots and the bed and the floor and the countertops, yeah. you're really able to engage your passions and do the things you really loved. Right, right. And I think that's, that's something that's easy, especially for women to lose, because we care so much about our loved ones. It's easy to forget about what energizes us. And, of course, our relationships do. But what are those other things? And um, I have found in my own life, when I'm doing what I love, there's more energy and fewer things left undone because I'm, I'm excited about my life. Part of this is just giving yourself permission, isn't it? Giving yeah. yourself permission. You solicited some responses on Facebook from women who you challenged to do this, and they came up with some pretty creative answers. I loved it. And this, there were also blog responses. I had more comments on this blog post, Confessions of a Multitasking Mama, than, than anything else I've ever written. It was so fun because people loved having permission. Here's one from a teacher that I love. She said, as a teacher, I learned it was okay not to correct every single paper <laughs> the child does. Sometimes a sticker or a stamp is all they need to reward their efforts. Isn't that wonderful? That was a, she was breaking her rule there. I have to correct every paper, yeah. read every word. No, you know what? That looks great. Good effort. But Pam also said when she said, I instituted no play date days during the school year. They're, uh, they're Monday, Thursday, and Sunday. This brings me both sanity and allows me to see my children more often than throwing them in the car and bringing them places. Isn't that great? Just, just what's my priority? My, her priority was her family, spending alone time and not being stressed out of her mind every second. Great words. Yeah. The yeah. art. The art the of, art of leaving things undone. And you have permission now. We'll let you know Julie is a family <laughs> and relationship therapist. She's the owner of Wasatch Family Therapy. And we posted a link to her website along with today's tips on our website. We'd love to continue this, uh, the dialogue on this topic. So shoot okay. us an email if you want to with your candid confession of what you leave undone.